when you look at the word Illuminati, it is in kinship with illuminate. Now, to illuminate means to enlighten. To enlighten means to decorate or one who gives light. So why would we want to give credit to people who does not enlighten but oppress? TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm back at y'all again. All right, we're coming to talk about the Illuminati this morning. Um, a lot of people assume that the Illuminati is a group or elite of people who sits at the top controlling various governments, when that's not true. See, we have to watch what we say when we're using words because words is frequency, and frequency is components that we can use as ingredients to create magic or work magic on other people. So you have to watch what you say because sometimes you can say things towards people that gives them the power to oppress you. So when you are calling these people at the top the Illuminati, you are calling them the illuminated ones or the enlightened ones, right? Because the word illuminate means to enlighten, to decorate. So how do you decorate a mind? With intelligence, with consciousness, all right? See, what they did was they psychologically worked on our mental. If I see that a word is beneficial to me, right? And I know that the frequency of that word is beneficial to me. What I'll do is I'll say that that word is evil, right? And I'll connect that word to myself and make you call me that word when in actuality that word is beneficial. So you're giving me power to oppress you. I'm the enlightened one. And the one who is enlightened is the one who has more power. It's just like the man in the land of the blind, the man with one eyes, the king, correct? That's correct. So. A lot of religious people say that the Illuminati is evil, so let's break this down. All right, Muslims, you, you all adore the sun, the moon, and the stars, correct? Now, the sun and the moon and the stars is three components that when it's given fragments to itself, it strikes the geomagnetic force field of the earth. And when it strikes the geomagnetic force field of the earth, it strikes your DNA and activates certain things in you to cause you to become illuminated. Because you have pre-encoded DNA in you that, you that you came into this world with that's asleep right now. So when certain paradigm shifts in the universe initiate, these three components strike the geomagnetic force field of your body, which awakens this DNA. And this is what you call illumination. So the Illuminati is inside of you. You see what I'm saying? You see how quick we can give power to something outside of ourselves that don't belong to you? These people don't belong to you. These are processed beings of the illusionary realm. You are just here downloading information. You are the true Illuminati. Now let's talk about the Christians, right? Y'all believe in the heaven and hell, right? Y'all believe in heaven and hell. So heaven represents higher self, hell represents lower self. So when your thoughts and frequencies are on higher vibrations, this energy will travel up to your kundalini, striking your higher self to illuminate your third eye or your pineal gland or your, or your Christ. And what happens when the Christ is illuminated or your third eye? It rises, it's, re it's resurrected. Do you get what I'm saying? So, when you are learning intelligence and adding intelligence to your mind, the kundalini energy rises up through your spine. It strikes the third eye to resurrect the Christ. And then in the Bible, Christ rose on what? The third day, the third eye, the pineal gland, the Horus, the Christos. The Christos is the, is the elements of the melanin, which is the intelligence that strikes that Christ and awakens him. Which then he becomes the Illuminati. Y'all said the Freemasons, the highest form of degrees in the Illuminati is what? 33 degrees. Christ died at what? 33, at the age of 33. So, stop giving your power to things that don't belong to you. Do you get what I'm saying? They taking everything from inside of you, making it evil so that you won't go back and get it. So I just touched on a little bit of it. I just, I just wanted to get brief on it because a lot of people think that the Illuminati is a, is a small group of people at the top when that's not true. It's not true at all. So with that much said, Black Science TV 111, 0 4 I'm out. Peace.